Welcome to this video on how to create an, a table in Excel from an image. This is a really, really cool and useful bit of functionality. So rather than you having to input loads of data manually, if you have an image that is clear and straight on and cropped down so you can just see that, that data, then you can pull that into the system. It isn't foolproof, you may need to make some amends, you may need to play around with it once it's pulled it in, but it is a really great time-saving method. So let's have a look at how it works. So I'm in Microsoft Excel, I'm on the desktop version, and I'm gonna to go to the insert option. And when I click on that, you can see I've got some different table options, and I've got a table icon from picture. Now I'm gonna click on that option, and click on picture from file. If you've taken a snapshot of a table, then if it's in your clipboard, save there, ready to paste, then you will see the picture from clipboard option open as well. But I'm gonna select picture from file, and then I'm just gonna grab the picture that I created a while ago. Now it's gonna process that and you can see on the right hand side, if there's a lot of data, it might take a bit of time. If not, it's gonna process it through. It's given me a snapshot of my picture and then below that, it's given me a suggested table. So this is where I can have a look. Now I can just insert the data right away and then play around with it in Excel using the formulas and just tidy it up or I can actually review it here before I do that. So I've got two blue buttons. If I'm happy, I'll pull it into Excel. If not, I can click on the review option. And then what it's just gonna do is it's gonna work through that image and allow me to make any changes to those boxes. So the first one says industry, I'm happy with that one. Employees looks like it's gone a little bit weird. So I'm just gonna rewrite that one and accept and Dollar, I'm absolutely happy with that one. This one seems to have lost a one. It maybe was a bit blurry. So I'm going to put one in there and accept. And I can just continue on going and accepting all of those. I've got 19 of these to do. Um, and when I'm happy and I've gone through all of them, I can just click on close. Obviously, once you do review and accept them, they won't be in pink anymore. But if I scroll down, you can see I've got a few more that it's not sure about that it just wants me to check. Just to speed up the process, I'm gonna insert the data as it is right now. This is still warns me that there's 15 items to review, but I'm gonna insert it anyway. And it's dropped that information in there. Let's just make that a little bit bigger so you can see all of that detail. So it's actually quite useful to do the review function because you can see the original data there. Right now here, I've got a few issues that I can definitely fix, but I'm not quite sure what's going on with these. I think it might just have pulled apart. There might have been an extra space on the image. So I think services actually should be in this one here. So I can add this in. I can obviously update it and services should be there as well. And I can get rid of those and I can cut and paste those across really nicely so it looks quite similar. So I had to make a few changes and it really depends on how clear your image is. And you can either do those changes before you drop them in or you can make changes once it's being dropped in. If you've got two screens or you've got that data in front of you, it might be easy just to make some quick changes, but a really, really nice quick process, way quicker than me typing all of that information out by hand. So have a go if you've got any data that you need to pull in from images, just make sure you crop it so you can only see that data so you've got, you don't confuse Excel any more than it needs to be and you get a quick result. And obviously have a look at the rest of the videos on this channel.